Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about relative extrema. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, y equals x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 3, and we want to find all the points of relative minimum and maximum. Well, from here, we want to first find our derivative. That's our first step here. So we find f prime of x, and we use the power rule. 4 comes down, x to the third power, minus 2 times 2 is a 4. We have the x there, and then derivative of 3 is just 0. So we have our derivative, 4x to the third minus 4x, and we need to set it to 0 and solve for x, find those critical points. So I take that 4, x to the third power minus 4, and I set it equal to 0. Oh, 4x. <laughs> Almost forgot that. Let's pull out a 4x here, and we're left with an x squared minus 1 equals 0. Well, set both parts equal to 0, 4x equals 0, and x squared minus 1 equal to 0. From there, we'll divide both sides by 4, so x is just equal to 0. x squared equals a positive 1. We square root both sides, plus or minus, so we have x equals plus or minus square root of 1, which is 1. So we have three critical points here. We need to test the intervals around them using our first derivative test. So we make our chart here. Okay. Lowest number is negative 1, then 0, then positive 1. So what we're going to do is find values that are less than negative 1 or within our intervals here and plug it into our derivative and see what happens. So I found some for you already. I found what f prime of negative 2, a value that was less than negative 1, plug it into my derivative, and I get a negative 24. I just care that it's negative, and so therefore we are decreasing on that interval. Between negative 1 and 0, I picked a negative 1 half. So f prime of negative 0 0.5, plug that into my derivative, and I got a 1.5. Okay. I just care that it's positive, and therefore we're increasing on an interval. Between 0 and 1, I picked 1 half, a positive 1 half, so f prime of 0 0.5. Plug that into my derivative, and I got a negative 1.5. It's negative, that's what I care about, therefore we are decreasing. Now, a value larger than 1, I picked 2, so f prime of 2 here, plug that into my derivative, and I got a positive 24. It's positive, and therefore increasing. So we're going now from a decreasing to an increasing value. That means we have decreasing to then increasing a relative minimum. If we're going from increasing to decreasing, we have a relative max going on there. And then if we're going from decreasing again to increasing, we have a relative minimum going on there. So now we can we need to label these. So our relative minimums happen when x is a negative 1 and when x is a positive 1. And so we plug those values into our original function to get the y-coordinates that go with them. So we plug negative 1 into our original function, and we got a positive 2. And plugged 1 into our original function, and we also got a positive 2 there. For the maximum, we have a relative max. The x value is 0. Plug that into my original function, and the y value comes out to be 3. And so our final answer here is we have a relative minimum at negative 1 comma 2 and from 1 comma 2 or at 1 comma 2 and we have a relative maximum at 0 comma 3. I hope this video was helpful for you and if it was please subscribe to this YouTube channel like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.